And I call upon Harav Gedalia Schwartz Shlita Avbezdin, Chief Rabbi of the Chicago Rabbinical Council. recognition of my dear respected colleagues of the rabbinate and distinguished leaders who are here today, especially from the Jewish community, Dr. Nassiter of JUF Federation, uh, Israeli Consulate, uh, His Excellency Mr. Kadar, and of course the President of Chicago Rabbinical Council, our dear colleague, and head shaliach of Chabad of Illinois, Rabbi Daniel Moskowitz. Ladies and gentlemen, I would just like to explain briefly at this very moving and uh, most remarkable gathering here today of so many elements in our community that have come together. There's a statement in the Talmud, in the Gemara and Brachas, on Davav Amit Beis, where there is a list of aphorisms, very concise, very precise, of different statements regarding different events or occasions in the Jewish community. One of those statements is, Agra the Hespeda de Lui, which literally in the Aramaic, the Talmudic Aramaic means the reward or the result of eulogy, of a Hespid. And it's talking about eulogy in its most extreme form is de Lui. It literally, it means raising up. And how is this explained by the great Talmudic rabbinic commentator Rashi is it regards, it has to do with the raising of one's voice by that individual who is delivering the eulogy, the Hespid, in order to make other people cry. His purpose is habechi, to awaken weeping. Now I do not know whether fundamentally I'm saying this in and knowing myself or my abilities that whether I am capable of making everyone weep. I think since the tragedy of last week and the continuing tragedy of the Avelis of the morning, we have had a great sense of weeping, whether it's public demonstration or in a demonstration. And part of that is a sense of total silence at the awesome type of tragedy, how it took place and whom it affected. Not only members of the world Jewish community, different elements that were there in that Chabad house there in Mumbai, but all the other people that, whose lives were snuffed out. So I don't know whether I'm capable of doing that. But one thing, it occurred to me that this statement, this aphorism, can be interpreted with perhaps some homiletic license, but it's, there's a great deal of truth in the words. That the scha, the reward, are meaning what you come away with when we leave this hall ultimately, and what is our purpose, and what is our direction the word is delui, which means elevation, raising up. Not just the raising of a voice to make people, to incite to weeping and to sadness, but it means a certain strengthening and resolve to rise above the tragedy and do things on a higher level. In great contrast to those who are are enemies, and they are not only the enemies of the Jewish people, they are enemies of the entire civilized world. 
And it's not just a tiny, minuscule group. It is a certain organized terrorist organization, which I don't have to delve upon. But in contrast to them, we would be able to raise our sights on being greater people, greater morality, greater observance of all of our moral obligations, our religious obligations, that we have to build, keep building in response to the murderous type of community or whatever it is or anarchy that they display, we have to show that we are united. De Louis, we raise ourselves above. Although a cloud has descended on the world and especially on the Jewish community worldwide when this type of a massacre occurs, which is not unusual, regrettably, in the history of our people, we've always maintained a strength, just like today we all perhaps have experienced it, and we can see it in reality. When there's a cloudy day, the jet plane rises above the clouds. The higher we go, the more that we can see in the distance. The same is true of our actions down here on Earth. In the face of this overwhelming tragedy, this sense of loss, grievous loss, to families, to community, and to whoever was affected, each and every one of us who's here tonight, we have to rise above this cloud of gloom and doom, just the opposite. We can see the sun shine in the distance of hope, of unity, and of positive action, that in our own personal lives, in our own respective communities, as diverse as we might be, we have to come together and make a better society, a better community. That has to be our response. We all know that the world is in this terrible economic state where certain things that were very expensive that were seen to cost a great deal have lost their value, have gone down. To those who are our enemies who perpetrated this tragedy and many others, human life has no value. To them, there is no economy and so forth when it comes to a human life. It means nothing. It's non-existence. To us, those who clean and observe the faith of our forefathers and also other great civilized peoples, join together in understanding that every human being is precious, worth beyond any price. And that's why we are here tonight. We are sending forth a resounding call that our lives and our own personal lives, whichever way we direct it, and we were given certain directions, and we can also follow it in our respective groups and communities and organizations to make sure that we can rise above the cloud and see into the future, a future which will be bright, ultimately will be bright, with a messianic age as we believe in, with a future of a world where Maimonides cites that it would be a world, in the words of the prophet Isaiah, that all the world will be, or it's Moladea. The world will be filled of pure knowledge, knowledge of sensitivity, of caring for other human beings, kamayim liyam mechasim, just like the waters cover the sea. Let us hope and pray that our gathering here tonight will send forth such a message all over the world that we are united despite our diversity and ultimately we will prevail with the help of Hashem Yisbaruch, of the Almighty, we we'll ultimately will see the ultimate redemption of our people and of the entire world.